welcome to the Howl Herald. My name is Paul. And I'm Eric. So today we're going to be talking about virtual, augmented, and mixed reality. We're doing this because there's a lot of confusion in the community and industry as to what these terms mean, and there needs to be a little bit of standardization. Kind of just to give you guys a benchmark of where we're coming from when we do use these terms in future videos. We're going to start with the most well-known terminology and work our way to the least known terminology. So to start us off, we're going to be dealing with virtual reality. So I'm going to start with a definition from the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, where they define it as an artificial environment which is experienced through sensory stimuli, such as sights and sounds, provided by a computer and in which one's actions partially determine what happens in the environment. And an interesting fact we found is that the first use of this word was in 1987. It's a little confusing definition. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to explain what it means in real world and how we use it in everyday use. Uh, first off, virtual reality can be seen in the technology such as Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, your phones. There's lots of different uses for it. What it means is when you're going to enter a new reality, you're going to completely leave where you are right now and you're going to enter a computerly generated one. So now we're going to move on to augmented reality, which Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines as an enhanced version of reality created by the use of technology to overlay digital information on an image of something being viewed through a device, such as a smartphone camera. That was a little bit more generic. We're used to that one. What it means in the real world is images that have been laid over your surroundings. So you're not entering a new reality, you're not even changing your reality, you're more in enhancing it. You're just overlaying images or whatever it happens to be over it. You see this in technologies such as Snapchat. Snapchat's very popular with the face swap and lots of that. Pokemon Go, very popular, very good use of augmented reality. Um, and Google Glass, the shutdown project by Google. Um, where it overlays videos inside of your glasses. Moving on to mixed reality, a word coined in 2015, so new that it's not even appearing in the Merriam-Webster's dictionary. So we had to find it on the Collins Dictionary, where they explain it as an environment created by adding computer-generated elements to the real world in a way that allows them to interact in real time. One of the hardest to grasp if you've never tried it, and one of the hardest to explain if you've never experienced it. Um, what it is, is it's a very, very good description though. Uh, it's overlaying, holo we're going to use holograms, there's been a lot of debate in the comments about what a hologram is, I'm just going to use it for simplicity. Uh, overlaying computer generated graphics or holograms, whatever they are, happen to be, uh, in your surrounding. As real as the, holo the HoloLens is here, this grenade here, my phone, as real as those objects are in my surrounding, it's, it's, they are. The only difference is, is I wouldn't be able to interact with them if they were a hologram. So, yet again, it's enhancing my reality, it's not changing to it, it's not changing it, it's adding to my reality. So, like this grenade, if this was a hologram, I could walk completely around it. You've seen it in our HoloLens videos. Uh, it, some devices that consist of mixed realities, things as the meta, the, uh, the HoloLens, the ODG technology that's been coming out, which is a combination between augmented and mixed reality. Um, so, yet again, this is one of the hardest ones to grasp if you've never tried it before, because to have a concept of something that doesn't exist in your surroundings is a very uh, abstract ideology. But once you try it, it's so natural. Out of all of the realities, this is the most natural, the most humanistic to what you're used to every day to interact with and everything. So now that you know our definitions of these words, we'd like to hear your thoughts on the subject. So if you have any ideas, please leave it in the comments and we'd love to have an open dialogue with you guys about what, what you think about what we said and just your ideas in terms of the meanings of these words. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Also, thanks for being part of the community. If you could go over and follow us on Twitter, we'll be dropping lots of news there for you guys, so go ahead and check that out. Also, we're going to be releasing our podcast soon, but we don't have a name for the podcast. So if you guys could go up and either on Twitter or drop a comment below, whatever, if you have any good podcast name ideas, something to do with tech or mixed reality or whatever, we're just looking for good names. Um, there'll be some, a little something in it for you guys if you do that, and thanks for watching.